well, thank you guys for staying late. I'm sorry that our notes meeting has bled into the after hours, but I'd really like to talk about some scripts we have in the works, some film projects we have currently in development, and of course, future ideas that would be great here at Disney. Tony, you have a fantastic movie. It's called The Lion King. It's about a delightful family of lions that sings and lives in Southern Africa. Yeah, I loved it. Great work, Tony. Thanks, fellas. Well, I had some notes. Of course, Derek, that's why we're here. The movie reads a little boring. I mean, nobody wants to watch a bunch of happy lions roaming around, doing nothing. It needs spice. What if we had, and I'm spitballing here, a dirty uncle who pushes Simba's dad off a cliff. He gets trampled by a stampede, breaks his back, ruptures his spleen, inevitably he dies in front of his son. Now that adds spice. It's a children's movie. I don't think we need to violently kill off one of the main characters, Derek. I'm sorry. What's your name? What? Your name. James Williams. And what's my name? Derek Disney. Fine. We'll work it in. Ken, your film. Snow White and the Three Dwarfs. It's already in post-production, so there's really nothing we can do about that one. One sec. I gave the script a quick reread, and there's really no spice. Oh, <laughs> well. Unfortunately, our animators are already done with the picture, so... I don't even blink at Three Dwarfs. I need at least six. What? What if we had a dirty old witch who poisons Snow White, and the poison puts Snow White into a coma? That adds spice. Do you know how much it would cost to just add in a crazy witch storyline? I mean, am I, am I wrong here? I mean, it's like a subplot about a witch it makes no sense, Derek. What's my name? Fine. I'll talk to animation. Roger, you've written a delightful tale about a singing mermaid. Surely no one could have any problem with that. No spice. Oh, God. I'm thinking we do something with a fat, dirty fucking octopus. I mean, this thing hates the Little Mermaid, wants to rip out her vocal cords because she's jealous of her singing and shit. Very spicy. Great, Derek. That's a fantastic idea. That is not at all too violent or gory for a children's movie. I think you're a genius. My father's the real genius. Should we uh, give him a phone call? I'm sorry, Derek. I apologize. Your father's a great man. Also, it's your turn to pitch. Gentlemen, I have two ideas. The first of which is about a dirty old lady. Of course it is. I'm sorry. A dirty old lady who is obsessed with the finer things in life. I mean, she loves diamonds and gold and fur, especially fur. She loves it so much that she breeds her own little puppy dogs, you know, the Dalmatian ones, so she could skin them herself, supplying her with an infinite amount of fur. It's a musical. That's it. That's it, I've had it. We can't make a children's movie about an old woman that skins puppies. Is there something wrong with you, Derek? You know, all this time I thought you might just be a spoiled rich kid, but I think you might be an actual sociopath. I have another idea. I don't want to hear it. I don't think I can handle any more of your spicy ideas. This one's about a cute little deer that spends his days prancing and dancing with his woodland friends. The deer's name is Bambi. Bambi? A deer named Bambi. <laughs> I actually kind of like the sound of that. And Bambi's mom gets shot in the face in the first two minutes of the movie. <laughs>